BTS. The City of Angels and its landmark lit up in purple to greet BTS. After two years of longing, Global Armies and their beloved group BTS finally reunited at the first live in person concert since the COVID 19 pandemic. On Saturday, BTS' permission to dance on stage raised its curtain at SoFi Stadium in Los Angeles. The concert venue was filled with about 50,000 fans who traveled from as far as South Korea and across the U.S. and other countries to see BTS not through the computer screen but in person this time. The group is the first South Korean artist to perform at the symbolic venue where myriad of concerts and events are held. When the clock hit 7.50 p.m., BTS appeared on stage in an all-white look. Filled with emotions and surprises, the audiences welcomed the group in shouts, cheers, smiles, and even tears. The first song played was On, the title track from the Map of the Soul 7. Since COVID-19 broke out right after the group released the album, it was the first time for BTS to perform this song in front of their fans. Then the band performed Fire, Young Forever, Blue and Grey, and also the Billboard topping songs. Armies also got to see the orchestral version of Black Swan. Fans who couldn't get the tickets to the concert, which were completely sold out, purchased the tickets to the BTS live play instead to watch the concert at the adjacent YouTube theater. ARMY still got together and vividly felt the movement of the concert with the light sticks connected to the actual concert venue. For the fans that couldn't travel to LA, ARMY's uploaded the clips of BTS concerts on Twitter real time. PTD on Stage LA and BTS SoFi Stadium ranked the second and fifth on the real-time worldwide Twitter trends. More than 200,000 fans are expected to gather for the four nights of concerts. Korea Now will be updating you guys with the actual footage and stories from BTS's LA concerts, so don't forget to subscribe and like for more updates.